Ms. Miller, I'd, I'd like to hear your comments next. Okay, thank you so much for your patience and good morning, Judge Mortensen and Peels B board members. My name is Karen Miller. I'm a secondary English teacher whose license lapsed during COVID. I reviewed the proposed changes to the standards of effective practice and was shocked to discover that in order to renew my license, instead of teaching students to identify and label the parts of speech, I would have to teach students to identify who they are based on their race and gender and label whether they are a victim or an oppressor based solely on their skin color. Instead of teaching them how to write a five paragraph essay, I would have to teach them how to interpret all of history and current events in light of systemic oppression, institutional racism, intersectionality, and white supremacy. Instead of promoting similes, metaphors, and descriptive writing, I would have to promote equity, affirm all gender orientations, and implement social and emotional learning. Instead of training students how to become good communicators, I would have to train them how to become political activists. These proposed standards have abandoned academics and replaced them with politically and ideologically charged content that aligns more with Marxist socialism than American democracy. They seek to totally transform education and revolutionize our society by targeting our impressionable children. We should be educating children for their benefit, not using them to propagate a social political agenda. Additionally, these proposed standards are a gross violation of both the Establishment Clause and the Free Exercise Clause of the First Amendment to the Constitution, which states, quote, Congress shall make no law respecting the establishment of a religion or prohibiting the free exercise thereof or abridging the freedom of speech or of the press, etc. End quote. Although our government is not supposed to establish a religion, if implemented, these standards would establish the ideology of cultural Marxism and a gender fluid philosophy as the new standard of belief and practice in education across the state of Minnesota, to which every teacher would have to bow in order to keep their license and their job. Secondly, these standards also violate the free exercise clause. What if the concepts and practices in these standards are in direct conflict with the teacher's consciously held beliefs? For me personally, there are many areas in which following these standards would require me to violate my own personal belief system in order to keep my license. There is no room for individual freedom of thought, belief, or speech in these standards. Instead of live and let live, the message behind these standards is conform and affirm or lose your license and your job. In conclusion, these proposed standards are unconstitutional and antithetical to everything America stands for. They are in direct violation of every teacher's First Amendment rights. Therefore, Judge Mortensen, I urge you not to approve these proposed revisions. This licensing board has no authority to make such sweeping changes that are an ideological assault to the founding principles of our country and a violation of the constitutionally protected individual liberties. Thank you very much for your consideration. Thank you. Thank you.